Hey everybody, David Lemon here. We recently added a couple of new interesting features to Groove Cells. So I just wanted to make sure that you are aware and that you know where and how to find them. So let's just move on to the first one, which is an interesting concept called um, affiliate calculations without payment gateway processing fee. It's kind of a, a term which means basically that you can now pay out affiliates but not include the processing fee for the payment gateways. Let me just show you how to set this up. Whenever you go into Groove Cell, you can head over to the settings and inside the settings, you now have the payment gateways. Whenever you are adding a payment gateways over here, we have a newer UI, but we now add, have an option to add processing fee. So depending on the different uh, payment gateways and depending on what you're selling and depending on a lot of different cases, you will have a specific processing fee in percentage or in dollars and you can now come over here and add that in would that be a two percent processing fee and a five cent uh, transaction fee for 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 your payment gateway then you can set this up whether you're using GroovePay, whether you're using Stripe, whether you're using PayPal or the others, you can find the actual uh, processing fee and how much they charge through uh, through their pricing uh, pricing pages or just log in and then look around. You'll probably see um, inside your transaction, they will mention how much is the processing fee for each transaction. So you will be having the information. You can populate that. Once you populated that, make sure you save and then you can come over to your product funnels. For example, let's just go into this demo funnel. Okay. And in, inside the affiliate setup for the funnel, you can turn on or turn off this calculating commissions um, after the processing fee was removed. Okay. So this is now in your, um, in your power if you want to pay out affiliate commissions without or with the processing fee. So there you go. That's now uh, a little cool feature, but it's pretty powerful because why would you pay more than you need? All right. Uh, moving on. When we are here inside a product uh, funnel, we have added a new option for the pricing. So if I just move over here, you can now see that we have the one time price recurring installment, recurring installments, and also on the next one, which is pay your own price. The pay your own price is basically the donation type of thing where you actually have a form field on the checkout page where you ask people to donate or, or pay as much as they want. Some of the settings that you can do here with a pay your own price is set up a minimum price. Okay, we'll need to uh, look into why it's showing like this, but it's a basically you set up the minimum price. So you allow people to donate, but donate minimum $12 or minimum $50 or something like that. For example, this comes handy when you are a, um, a charity, for example, when you are uh, a non um a non-profit foundation or you have you are selling something that you don't want to put a, a cap on like you don't know how much it's probably worth so let's just see that you have a, a block with all of your knowledge written in this uh, piece of uh, or this block of paper now you don't know how much this is worth to some people some people may pay you only $15 but some people may be paying you $200 because for them this product is valued at that price so this actually allows you to to have for one product receive in certain cases $15 in certain cases many many more dollars than that so you can set up the the minimum amount make sure you save and now I'm just going to go over to a checkout page and show you how that looks like Give me just one moment. All right, here we are on the actual checkout page, which has the the choose your own price. And as you can see here, we have the choose your own price at $15, but we also added a little form field below that you can actually specify if a visitor or customer wants to pay more, they can actually type in their price and that's going to automatically change over here. So once they go through the checkout, that's the price they will pay for your product, which is pretty cool. Moving on, we have a new, very, very cool feature for testing purchases of your product, and that's a test mode. So if you go into one of your uh, your uh, product funnels, each and every product 
that you have can have its own test mode enabled, which means that you can turn on test mode on the product itself. Okay, so you click these three dots, enable test mode. It will be a pr uh, prompting you if you're sure, um, which means that all of the transactions will be removed after one hour. So you can test as many things that you want. Primarily, this is very good for testing webhooks or integrations or something like that, and not leave the transactions in there. This this also means that this is not a payment test mode, so it's not going to be allowing you to test the payment options, because what it actually does, it's skipping the payment step. Let me just turn it on, on here and let me show you what it does. So you can see that I enabled test mode on this particular product, so I'm going to reload this. Uh, check out and over here it says immediately get free access previously it was not saying that let me just revert back and let me show you so disable test mode and if I reload this checkout it's actually making us pay so making us put in the payment information and also the credit card details and complete purchase but once we turn on the test mode it's actually not allowing us to test the payment it's testing everything else webhooks sending the information uh, looking through the transactions and things like that uh, on, on how to track the product um, but the payment step is being skipped so a lot of people uh, that are watching this will be very happy because this means that webhooks can be tested much more fluently much more faster than it previously was and also means that every transaction that goes through here will be automatically removed by from the groove self reporting uh, because this is in the test mode. Now, at this moment, uh, you would need to turn on all of the products to, t uh, to test all of them. You can also do that on the upsells, downsells, and all the other products, which means that the payment step will be skipped, but you can still test the webhooks on the, on the test mode. So these are the three major things that we added into GrooveSell. Hopefully you like it. Hopefully you are... Um, you're seeing already how you can use it inside your business. And in case you do have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comments below or through the support. So support.groovedigital.com. Until the next time, see you later. Bye-bye.